I see you. What just attacked me? Oh, life support went offline. Crud. Okay, damn it. Okay, we've got one more full charge there, but what we need to do is go ahead and craft a power gel. Okay. We're gonna move this to the ship because these do nothing for us. Those are not resources we need. Okay, so I've got a power gel. That's gonna save us. And we're gonna craft a shielding shard. Shielding Shard takes um, 20, 20 Platinum and 50 Iron. So our Hazard Protection when it goes back up... Yeah, this is the cave where I was at. Okay. So I need to look for another spot that I can get out of the Toxic Rain. So... That, I might be able to go right there, underneath this ledge. You don't have to be actually underground, you just have to be under a ledge. Under an overhang of some kind. If I could, if I could get protection under that ledge, that's the next place I can go to, and then I can go to a farther ledge, and so on. As you can see, you can't just walk straight there. Like, 12 and a half minutes is fine, but in survival mode you can't do it. In normal mode, it, it really wouldn't be a big deal. Like, we could just make that trip easy. Alright, so, let's see here. Um, Sentinels. Okay, we're almost, almost full. Everything's a little bit too far away for me to even... You can also discover, like, rock formations and stuff. Yeah. You can analyze these things. You can analyze the big rocks. And this just gives you a little bit of money, you know, so it's it's somewhat useful to do. Okay, we're full. Okay, so we're just walking to this overhang and hoping that it helps us out. Like I said, I'll maximize my... maximize my... time walking to go ahead and get some resources as well. I think there was a... plutonium there. See if this overhang actually gives us any protection. Doesn't appear that it's doing anything for us. Okay. Uh, maybe this one will, though. Nope, it's still falling. Okay. Alright, we gotta move. We need to find another cave. Here's some plutonium. At this point, I'm gonna... Like, I have more power than I have toxic protection, so... I'm gonna... I'm gonna run. And try to find an overhang that we're... Or a cave that will offer us some real protection. That's Heridium, that blue rock over there. Okay. 
Let's see if this will give us anything. Let's see if this rock does anything for us. Oh, oh. Stabilize. Perfect. Okay. Cool. Alright, so we found a little spot where we can get detoxified for a little while. Unfortunately, there's no plants within range that I can shoot. Uh, maybe this one. Yeah. These little ones don't actually aren't actually interactable, I don't think. They're just kind of a... Um, like this little grass and stuff. They're just kind of a uh, decoration. Okay, so we're full on that. Let's go ahead and craft ourselves another power gel. Now, we can charge this... We cannot charge this with iron. So we need um, a shielding to be able to build shielding shards. So we need platinum. Um, and now that we've used our shielding shard up, we're kind of in trouble. We need to move from spot to spot. And we need to find some platinum. Like now. See if this rock gives us any sort of shielding. Yes, okay, cool. Alright. So there's thamium right there, and I see a plutonium over there. Okay, we're kind of in a weird place where it's going back and forth. Okay, there we go. So we just want to... Like I said, none of the, none, you don't really have to do any of this on normal, which is... You know, it makes the game a little bit seem, you know, well, it's about four times grindier on on survival, truthfully. So, um, it's not the best example of what normal gameplay is like. But like I said, um, I kind of like survival mode in that it's, um, it gives me a challenge. An actual challenge. Uh, normal's not really that challenging. Like, <coughs> excuse me. It's not really that hard. Gold. It's a gold planet, huh? We have plenty of plutonium. I'm not going to go over there. I do want to scan here. There's some thamium and maybe toxic some protection. toxic protection over there. Get this since we're right here. Okay, Thamium over there. More Thamium over here though, there's two of them here, so... This is a pretty interesting landscape. The big, the big bonus right, right here, right now, I'm hoping that... Actually, I know that we can get inside this Heridium, and that will save us. Um, that will protect us from the toxicity. Okay. Okay. So, we've got a ton of plutonium now, so we're gonna, I'm gonna send 250 back to the ship. Um, we've got two power gels, so let's go ahead and charge life support with one of those gels. Um, what we don't have is platinum, so... Well, we're fine right now for the hazard protection. Um, we need to find some more platinum. Like, bat. And we're good under here in that the Heridium is actually saving us, protecting us right at the moment. Um, but I need to destroy all of this heridium. I need to, I need this heridium to to fix the uh, pulse thrusters. So I can't destroy enough as much of this as I would like. So three, I need three hundred and twenty heridium. So I'm trying to destroy as little of this as I can because I don't want to lose the shelter that it's giving me. Yeah. 
it is giving me shelter right now, so I want to make sure that... How much do I have? Okay. So I have... I can send this back to the ship. I have 329. So... That should be enough. Notice that I'm having trouble with the toxic protection now because I've taken enough of this out. But that... Alright, so... We've got the 320 Heridium that we need. But there's... It's more than just that. You need a little bit more. Um, because once we get off planet, we'll need some to fuel our trips. Um, Heridium is one of the things that you need in order to craft a warp engine. And we'll need to craft a warp engine pretty, pretty quickly. Because <clears throat> we don't want to stay here forever. So, let's see here. Um, we will use the plutonium. So like I said, we're grabbing as much of this as we can. Okay. Let's get out of here. Is this rock a shelter or no? Yeah, it is. Okay. So let me go ahead and get some carbon here. Let me just load up on carbon. It's a little far away. So we want... Uh, I just want to make sure that I have enough carbon to do what I need to do. Keep my, uh, keep my stuff charged. A little bit of plutonium I can get to from here, kind of. There we go, I got it. And we'll go ahead and discover these birds. Okay. So we want to get to the ship. Let's, um, let's see where we're at. So where can we move to? Um, let's move quickly since I don't know. Okay, I can go inside this other Heridium uh, rock here. I can mine my way into this other Heridium rock. So... We should be good that in to go that to move that direction. Because I just want to make sure I have enough um, resources as I'm walking. It's a big plutonium crystal over there, but I'm not going back for it. Only thing I would go back for right now is platinum. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Platinum, sweet. <clears throat> this is a cave too. Sweet. I don't think I want to be in a cave though. I think I want to be in this iridium crystal. And these blue are chrysonite, but you can't mine them until you get an advanced mining laser, which comes after you build a base. So it's quite a... Uh, there'll be quite a, a, a way, a bit of time before we can get to that point. I had just gotten to that point with my... about 10, 10 hours in, I just got to that point with my um, normal character. Yeah, I, I don't like normal mode. I mean, normal mode is very relaxed, and I do enjoy that. But um, the challenge that it get that survival mode gives you is is more interesting to me most of the time. I'm I'm playing the normal mode mostly because I just wanted to get a little bit farther in the game and kind of see a little bit more, enjoy it a little bit more, that kind of stuff. Um, 
Let's see here. I have a ton more Heridium that I can send to the ship. So what's the total on that now? I have over 500 Heridium. Okay. So we'll just discard that. All right. Like I said, you have to be careful. This also requires... Uh, this is a plant that, that you can get that requires some stuff too. Uh, requires gauntlets. Um, radiation gauntlets to harvest. Uh, I don't I don't need any more Heridium than, I'm, than this. I'm not going to mine anymore. It just takes space and there's no reason to. Um, I mean, I guess I could... I guess I could fill up another slot with it here, but... Like, I... Uh, uh, it's not worth it. Actually, before I take off from here... Let me get back in here. Let me go ahead and create a... Shielding Shard. Okay. We're going to discard... Oh, no, don't discard the Platinum. Woo, 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 woo. Okay. Um... We'll go ahead and charge our mining laser with the carbon. Yeah. And now I have I should have a free yeah, free slot. Okay. Superb. Let's move. And like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and run because I have plenty of power, suit power. I just don't have enough um Damium sweet. I just don't have enough protection for my... Ooh, a monolith. Okay. So monoliths are how you learn about aliens, uh, alien languages mostly, but it also gives you a little bit of the story, the backstory of the game. There is a backstory to the game, there is a, a lore to the game, and monoliths is how you learn it. Monoliths are how you learn it. Can I get you? Please, Thamium, come on. Alright. Okay, I can't get the Thamium. Where was that monolith? Alright, I'm walking right by it. So, these are good to get whenever you find them. So the Etu Numa Gourd Landmark. The ancient marker hums at a frequency that burrows deep into my being, filling me with the voices of the Corvax echoes. Knowledge paves the way to the understanding of probability. The Atlas spoken fragments, the Atlas interfaces are their shadows, the monoliths are their scattered children. Together they convey the wisdom of the infinite. They must be understood. And this will give me, um... Okay, so a word and a standing increase. Okay, now I need a place to get under shelter. This rock looks like it'll shelter me, so I, I, I'll go ahead and go for it. Even though we're, we're losing protection pretty quickly here. but We'll go ahead and make that move. And chat's asking me if I'm standing. Yes, I stand to play. Um, I find that it it keeps me on my toes, literally. Oh, there's goodies over there. Um, okay, we need a we need a place to get some shelter real quick. Yep, it's falling. I know. Is there a cave here? Is there anything? No. Okay. So we're going to need to... Oh, there's a cave. There's a cave. Cool. All right. Uh, not sure that I can get there, but... Run by. Grab that Thamium as we run by. Looks like I'm just going to make it. There's Platinum over there. Okay, that's good. We need to go grab that when we get out of here. Cool. All right, so we just need to um, allow this to charge back up. Um, in the meantime, we can go ahead and charge our life support and make a new power gel. Okay. 
We'll go grab that platinum, and that platinum might be enough to get us all the way to the ship. We have, let's see, what else do we need? We need zinc. So we can get to the ship, we're still gonna need zinc in order to, to fix this engine. So that's gonna require a little bit of work. Where can I stand and be still under here? Okay. Just keep getting the carbon that we need. Yeah, okay. Sentinel saw me damaging trees, and he's really not happy about that, so. Alright, so we've got a little more carbon than we can use. Let's get rid of that. Um, hazard protection is almost up. We could use a little bit of... Meh. I need to be careful with the suit power, actually, because, well, I should, we should have enough to make it. I do need to find zinc, though, and if we can't find zinc, uh, we're going to have to go on a search for it once we get to the ship, and that's going to be a pain. So I need two plants of zinc. Zinc also comes on plants, like the platinum and the thamium. But, um, we need to find two of them, which... Um, they, they, they make them pretty rare in survival mode. Like I said, in normal mode, this would go... We'd already be in space by now. Um, but in survival mode... Yeah. Where's that platinum at? It was this direction, I know. There it is, okay, cool. So, ship's that direction. How far is the walk now? Six and a half minutes. Okay. Two plants of pl two plants of platinum are extremely useful. Well worth the little side trip that we just took. Toxic protection. Falling. So let's try to find more shelter. I see gold pits over there. We could, pr we could probably take shelter in those if we had to and make a little money at the same time, which would be very useful. Let's see if this rock offers any shelter. Yeah, okay. So we'll let this charge back up. Um, we've got... Uh, we'll go ahead and charge the life support with the power gel, and we'll make a new power gel. And we're out of plutonium now. So we don't need any more carbon, we need plutonium, is really what we need. And I'll take a screenshot of this, because it's cool. So, charge, charge, charge. I really enjoy um, taking the screenshots, taking screenshots in this game, because it's such a beautiful uh, looking game. Um, I think the environments are really pretty. So this solar system that we're in, we're on one planet. There's another planet. There's another three planets and one moon over there. And I think there was some this other direction too. Okay. So there's plutonium crystals all over the place here. There's platinum right here. I'm going to go ahead and make a backtrack to get that. Just because it's so useful and valuable. Um, platinum in survival mode is like... It, it is survival, really. Because you can get iron anywhere, and you can... You know, you can usually keep your suit power going, but it's the toxic protection that's really important. Most of the time, that's the limiting factor on how far you can move and where you can go. So platinum is extremely important. That's thamium. Um, there's two more plants of thamium over there, as well as some plutonium. So we'll probably take a little bit of, of a circuit, circuitous route. 
Actually, am I am I not stabilizing here? No, I'm not. Okay. It was the other side that stabilized, right? Yeah. Okay. So I've got one shielding shard. I can build um I can build three more. So we might be able to just make a, a run for, for it. Is it still sixty dollars this game? That that would shock me if there's not um, a deal somewhere on it. And you can get it from Steam, and you can get it from a couple other stores on PC. Or are you looking for the PlayStation version? Okay. I guess we can just discover more things, right? Might as well, because we're just standing here. At least we can make some units while we're doing it. Okay. Alright. Let's, um... We're standing over there, but we're gonna go this way. Because we're just gonna get... We're gonna get to the ship. So I want to make a quick scan, because we're looking for zinc. That's just so much plutonium. I have to go get it. Plutonium is... Oh my gosh, there's so much here. Alright, moving along. There's a point of interest ahead. Watch out, those are attack plants. Discovered you, discovered you, right? Weird looking antelope squid creatures. Uh, there's some goodies right here. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab them. And we'll grab this. This is a word. This is a knowledge stone. Okay, we've learned the word for warning. All right, so um, let's see here. You you play PC? It's Steam for sixty dollars. I know. I I remember seeing that it was forty dollars recently, but I don't know when that was. That might have been over, like during December or something during holiday sales. Zinc, yes! Okay, awesome. Sweet. We are in there. Okay, we're going to go ahead and craft another shard. We've got plenty of power, so we're just going to run. It's kind of a... Um, you have to kind of balance your, you know, you need to keep, keep your suit powered with... Uh, let's see, we can transfer... I don't want to transfer all the plutonium because we need it. We can transfer this carbon, though. Okay. So we've got almost the amount of zinc that we need. Almost. But not quite. So we need one more plant of zinc. Hopefully we find one on the way there. And we can just get into the ship and take off. Some more plutonium. Okay. We have a building. Cool. Okay. We've got a building we can get to here. And this is great. Getting inside a building will recharge our, our stuff, plus also give us some, um, you know, some kind of an advantage, right? Are you? Have I learned about you yet? No, I've already discovered you. Okay. Wow, 
full, huh? Inventory full. All right, let's get inside here. Ooh, that's a creature we've never seen before. I see you. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we're in here. Let's manage our resources a little bit. Um, let's use a power canister to recharge. Okay. And what else do we need? Um, nothing. We're, we're full up. Okay. Let's, uh, cool. A word. Very nice. Let's check the other one. Get some money and another blueprint. Cool. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Have I seen these creatures before? Yes. Okay, so we are three and a half minutes from the ship. Let's do this. Actually, hang on one second. I need to answer a text. One second, guys. Alright, so we got three and a half minute walk to the ship. Love that sound of the rain on the roof. Okay, let's do a quick scan. There's thamium, plutonium, thamium. Alright. Um, I'm not sure we need more thamium, but we'll go ahead and grab it. We can put this whole pile in the... And we can put this plutonium in the ship, too. So I've got a bunch more here. Okay, we got all that. And the big thing is, we need to, at some point in our journey here... Oh, you know what? We left, we left some goodies. Uh, these are probably worth it because of the units. I'll, I'll backtrack a little bit. Okay. Save real quick. This is the Zomia Peeve Wetlands. Shielding Shard? Yeah. Okay. Worth it. When you get in a building, the toxic protection goes way, way fixed, like immediately. Okay. Okay, let's get back out there. Once we get to the ship, if we can find another zinc. Plant, um, we will have the ship fixed immediately. And we'll just get right off this planet because this sucks. The nice thing about this planet, this has actually been a reasonable, um, it's actually been a reasonable start for for survival, because um, sometimes you get a planet where everything is like extreme, more extreme than this. Where there's storms or um, really cold nights or really hot days or something like that, right? This one is just, it's toxic all the time, but it's, it's a rather mild 
level of toxicity. So this was actually a good start. Um, a very reasonable start. I'm still recharging the scanner, so I can't check for... Jealous of the guy in the ship right now. Okay. So, let's see here. We really need a cave or something. Here's a cave. The knowledge stone right there. Is this an actual cave or just a hole in the ground? No, it's just a hole in the ground. Okay. So, let's go ahead and fire that up. Convergence. Let's do a quick scan. There's platinum in front of us. Any zinc. No, but there's thamium right here. So we get the thamium, we'll get the platinum. We've got enough platinum right now that we can um, kind of run around here and not worry too much about the toxicity. Still don't see zinc. Um, so we need, we do need one more plant of zinc before we can fix our ship. So, um, oh, I didn't see, there was a question from, um, chat. Is it cheaper to make a power cell and charge the suit, um, rather than just use the elements? I never looked. In survival mode, you don't have the option of using the raw elements. I think in normal mode you do. You're able to just charge with carbon or plutonium or whatever. But in in survival, you can only charge the suit directly with thamium. And thamium tends to be a little bit too rare to make that your only source of suit power. So what you do is you take carbon and plutonium together to make a power gel that can go in your suit. So it's a little bit more kind of realistic, I guess. Um, it doesn't make it doesn't make sense to me that your suit should be able to charge off of raw elements like that. Like it, it makes sense that you should have to fix it up. Okay, so we made it to our ship. Hallelujah! Let's get in here and and get that toxic protection fixed. <laughs> 